Hello and welcome back to the How to Date a Sports Guy YouTube channel. I'm your host, Andrew Garamadel III, and today is all about how to date a tennis guy. Now, if you haven't tuned back to my other videos about how to date a basketball guy or how to date a baseball guy or a football guy, dating a tennis guy won't be all that different. We break down each video, I go into the best date ideas, the best gift ideas, and then a little bit getting into the personality of each sports guy, whether or not they might, might be for you, some of their strengths and some of their weaknesses. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start with our date ideas. Now, some of the date ideas that are pretty obvious is to go play couples tennis, go play against another couple, test your chemistry in the relationship, test it early, because if your chemistry on the court is great, why shouldn't it be great in other, every other facet of the relationship? I think that's a great way for you guys to have some fun, get some, get some cardio in, and and have a good time uh, outdoors and uh, and bond with friends. Um, and then getting into something out, getting to movie night, maybe watch some, maybe watch Match Point or watch King Richard or watch Venus and Serena. There's a lot of good tennis movies out there. And then because tennis is, there's a lot of back and forth in tennis watch Judge Judy put on maybe a TV show Law and Order because there's a lot of back and forth in those shows. And I, I think I think that could be great um, to put on and your tennis guy would love it. Um, also off the off the beaten track, maybe maybe an escape room because in an escape room, tennis guys, um, there's a lot of independence with with tennis players. Um, a lot of times they play solo. So in, in an escape room setting, uh, each of you have your own tasks that you're doing, but you're doing it to complete the same goal. So it could just be kind of like testing yourselves as a couple on the tennis court or testing yourselves in an escape room and, and finding out if you can work well together to meet a common goal is, is something that'll be needed in a, in a healthy relationship and a, a successful relationship. And then moving on from there, gift ideas, you can get them a tennis ball, uh, you can get them hats, you can get them a headband because you're going to sweat a lot playing tennis, so you go through headbands pretty quickly. Get them the long socks, but other than that, um, a nice accessory to get them, other than because they'll probably want to buy their own racket, is to get them a, a nice backpack or a nice duffel bag because when they're bringing their water bottles, their rackets, all of their equipment to a tennis match, they're gonna need a bag to bring it. So why not get them an, a, nice, a, nice, a nice new backpack for them uh, this holiday season? And then getting to the tennis guy themselves. They tend to be a little bit over dramatic. Tennis guys and will tend to moan a lot uh, and, and complain, uh, whether it's to the ref or their coach or their com they're complaining to their, themselves and looking up they might be a little bit over dramatic, but on that same note, that same dramatic style and, and, and vocal um, little outbursts could be great in a, in a passionate way when they bring it into the relationship. And to that same note, tennis guys tend to be perfectionists. They tend, tend to want to get every little detail right. And when they make mistakes, point to point in a tennis match it's a long match and it's very grueling and there's a mental toughness in a tennis player that that isn't found in in every other sport so on that same note with that with that tennis player um, they're going to want to improve in every facet of the relationship that they can um, and also tennis players they have to play on a hard court on clay on grass and their ability to adapt and be able to be successful in all types of environments um, should make them be able to be successful in any situation in your relationship. Um, so I think for a tennis guy as well, their positives outweigh their negatives. Um, and then thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for the support. That does it today for How to Date a Tennis Guy. Uh, stay tuned for a part two for this in the future. And then for next week, stay tuned for How to Date a Swimmer. Thank you again for tuning in. Arrivederci.